Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing this morning? I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a cold one this week. It has been in the teens or even colder, and at night it's like in the negatives here. So it's definitely been like a really super, super cold. I'm over it. Um, let me know how things are where you are. If you are new here, then hi. My name is Carrington. If you are not new here, then hi. Welcome back. If you enjoy all things makeup, such as trying out new makeup, testing out old makeup, project pants, shop my stashes, using up makeup in your collection, trend mood unboxings, just all thing makeup and trinkling, trinkling, sprinkling in some true crime here and there, then you're definitely going to want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the little bell so you be notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and let's dive on into today's video. So I have the Alien Cosmetics Smells Like Holiday Spirit collection. In this collection, you get three lip glosses and you get one eyeshadow palette. So we are going to be going through the whole thing. We are going to be talking about the glosses. We're going to be doing swatches of them, lip swatches. We're going to be discussing the palette, trying the add out, doing swatches as well, talking price points, things like that. So if you guys are excited to see what my first impression thoughts are, then definitely keep on watching. So first things first, the lip glosses come in this packaging. Uh, it says Alien Cosmetics, and then like on the top it says what the names are. The one thing I hate about this packaging is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really hard to read. Um, just because of like the background and how light and yellow it is. So definitely a little bit more difficult to read. But there are three glosses. So we have the first gloss right here. This is in the shade Spice. We're going to go ahead, lip swatch that. Okay. Okay. So it does have some opacity to it. It kind of, what is the scent? This kind of has like a, like a plastic factory scent. I don't know, that's just what it reminds me of. Next gloss is going to be the shade Ornament. This is the only one of the glosses that have kind of like some sparkle in it. And this one doesn't really have a ton of color to it. In the tube, it looks like it does, but it actually does not, again, kind of has like that plastic factory scent, kind of a smell, not something I'm loving. Then for the final gloss, we have Candy Cane. Yep, this again provides some really nice opacity. I think it's really cute. So those are all of the glosses that we have to try out in this collection. So let's go ahead, let's move on to the palette. So the palette has like this really cute artwork. In a way, it does, it, I know it says smells like holiday spirit. It's kind of like a blab. It kind of reminds me of the smells like teen spirit. And with the artwork, kind of reminds me of that as well. Uh, but I do like the artwork. I think it's like really cute. And then we're going to open it up. And here is the inside. So it's definitely a very super colorful palette. Alien Cosmetics is really known for like their good quality, colorful eyeshadow palettes. That's what they're known for. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right on into the swatches. So first up, we have Pine. Moving on, we have Comfort. We then have Fireplace. And last is Smile. Then we're going to move on to the next row, which is Spirit. This is our first shimmer, which is Gingerbread. We have Evergreen. And last for this row is Miss You. And then the very last row has three shimmers and one matte. The first of the shimmers is this right here called Rebel. Then we have Jolly. Then moving on to our matte shade, we have Yule. And then very last one is going to be another shimmer, which is Wishes. So those are all of the swatches. I think a lot of you guys are probably going to think that I want to go in with the greens. Truthfully, I do. Like, I kind of do. But I think I am going to just change it up 
<sighs> ever so slightly. I know, who am I? I think I'm gonna try playing around with like the gray, the purple, and the brown, and then kind of figure out what, what shimmers I want to use, but that's kind of what I'm thinking for right now. So let's go ahead and let's dive on into the look. All right, so first and foremost, I have primed my eyes li living using my Ulta Matte Eye Primer. It's currently in this one, Shop My Stash and Project Pan. Every other makeup product besides this and a couple other things, um, I am, nope, just this actually. This collection um, is definitely going to be from my Project Pan, but let's go ahead, let's dive on in to this palette. So first I'm gonna go into the shade I'm gonna go with this right here, this gray. I'm gonna start off with that, tap my brush in, coat it nicely, and then just start to slowly work that into kind of like the transition and crease area. This actually blends out really nicely for it being a gray and as dark as it is gonna take a little bit to build up a little bit more hopefully this turns out as good as I'm as much as I'm thinking at this point like like in my brain I have a vision and so I hope this vision turns out well then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on into that purple shade, Comfort, right here. And I'm going to focus that in, wow, that really coated the brush, like lower into my crease as well. Just focus that right in my crease area. Then for outer corner, I'm gonna go into that dark brown, which is called Yule, right here. And that's gonna go right on my outer corner. I like to start kind of along the lower lash, or not the lower lash line, just the lash line, the upper lash line, the upper outer lash line, smoke it out and then bring it up into a V. And then just work on packing it. All right, so I've now glitter primed my eyes. Um, trying to decide if I want to go in with both Jolly. No, I think I'm just going to go into the purple right here called Wishes. And I've glitter primed my eyes, so I'm ready for my shimmers. That's beautiful. All right, so here is one eye completed. So far, I'm gonna go ahead, go do the other eye, other eye off of camera, uh, and then come back. So we can try out one other thing on camera, and then I'll finish off the rest of my face so then we can use the glosses. All right, so I am back with both of the eyes completed. The one thing I wanted to try out is not from Alien slash Unearthly Cosmetics. It's actually from Kaali, which is um, the sister brand-ish of Huda. And they had just come out with like this new perfume called Utopia Vel Vanilla Cocoa. This has notes of pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. So it has a lot of the things that I like in it. So I have wanted to like try this on definitely can smell the sandalwood <clears throat> not so much the coconut you can smell the jasmine and just like the tiniest hint of like the vanilla so this definitely is not a very sweet scent it's definitely like a very like musky sort of scent and I although I don't hate it 
I do, I kind of wish it had more of that, like that vanilla to it. But overall, I think this is, it's somewhat, it's somewhat decent. You know, not my favorite, um, but not my least favorite either. So, all right. So we've got to uh, try that out. So now I'm gonna go ahead, hop off of camera, do basically the rest of my face, just so we can come back and we can do a lip gloss together. All right, so I am back and I am ready to try out one of these glosses. I don't think I'm gonna go with this gloss, truthfully, but there's this one or there's this one. Let's go with this one. This is Spice. And I'm gonna lightly go over the lipstick. This is really nice, really comfortable, not super sticky. It's definitely a thicker gloss. Um, so definitely if you don't really like thick glosses, you won't like these. But let's go ahead and let's just kind of dive into my final thoughts. So first things first with the glosses. I do really like that you get to pretty opaque options. So if you are somebody that you like to go in with just a gloss that has some opacity to it and wear that, then you're definitely gonna like these. That's personally not a vibe that I'm going for. I don't mind having glosses that have some opacity to it, just like I layered this today. And I think that looks really good with some of like the um, like lipsticks or liquid lipstick options that I have. Sometimes you can get like a lighter one, just put it in the center and have it a little bit more glossy in the center. Like you can do tons of different things. So I do like the opac like the ones that are a little bit more opaque, but I do like that they also included a gloss that is a little bit more transparent and has just like those glitter um aspects to it um but overall i think it's a really comfortable gloss the one thing i don't particularly like about it is i don't care for the scent it just smells like a plastic factory and that's just not something i'm like going for um truthfully so yeah not a huge fan of the fact that it smells like a plastic factory all right so moving on to this palette this is like such a really cute palette it's got a really cute color story i really liked the look that i created it's definitely a little bit more grunge um and i just i was able to use this 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 and this and i think it turned out like so well i think that alien cosmetics just really does kill it with like the packaging and things that they have so overall again the quality of this is great matte pigmented blendable work well together don't look muddy um, really, really, you know, a nice color story. The shimmer, really beautiful on the lid, went on nicely, especially if you have a glitter glue. I find that all shimmers and glitters go on really well with the glitter glue. So if you have that, I think that these shimmers are really good as well. Again, I really like, like, the picture. I really like how you can kind of get some, like, vibes of, like, the, um, smells like teen spirit um from the, the, the nirvana kind of aesthetic in here i really like that they did that i think this was overall a really good collection it was definitely a really cute palette there's nothing about this collection that i don't particularly not like i really liked everything that i try i like everything that came in this box i really like the cute little like packaging that it came in that's cute as well Again, Alien Cosmetics just uh, always kills it. And I feel like it's always, you know, out of the park, their quality is. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like this look? Do you not? Kind of give me some of your guys' thoughts down below. If you have tried Alien Cosmetics, what do you think of them? Honestly, they're one of the indie brands that I just, I love. I love everything that they um, have released, like eyeshadow palette wise. Obviously, I've tried out some of their other products, such as like their brushes and their beauty blender. And I just, I didn't really necessarily care for those um, some of their satin lips that I tried didn't really care for the colors but overall I really think like, like their eyeshadow palettes they always kill it I've tried uh, one of their blushes I've tried some of their highlighters those are beautiful as well as they just always kill it but that is it for today's video I hope that you all enjoyed don't forget to comment down below what you think and comment how things are going for you guys and I will see you all in my next one